right, good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to the Saturday Showcase featuring the Los Alamos High School Smite players this weekend. Uh, this week I'm joined by Coach Goodbody. Welcome, Coach Goodbody. Hey, everybody. Going. We're going to see how the formatting on this goes as we start having some people trickle in. So it's going to be a run by seat of our pants on this one today here. That's fine. Yeah, this is again is just our Saturday showcase. Just getting the the kinks out in the streaming here, so not a lot of pressure going on here. Just a lot of fun matches. Uh, this week we'll be featuring Smite, which is another of our uh, New Mexico State esports games. Uh, previous weeks we've featured Rocket League and League of Legends so far. So this is our first dive into Smite. Um, I'm a pretty pretty new Smite player, so we're going to be relying a little bit on. Uh, Coach Goodbody, who has a, a lot more Smite experience than I do um, in helping out with the casting here. I think today we're going to have a one, ver one versus one match uh, between Coach Tony and one of our players, uh, Caleb. Uh, we'll see if a few more players trickle in for game two. Otherwise, we'll just uh, focus on some of the game mechanics and uh, how Smite works overall. Make sure you check out our merch page at skulls.com you can see on the screen right now i ordered in my t-shirt and my tumbler i need to actually go outside and see if they've been delivered yet <laughs> said they're on the truck for delivery today so i need to uh, start representing here yeah but i just got my tumbler in uh yesterday so i got that okay. and i also have a uh... that hat and then jersey that's on its way so oh wow okay you got the full the full spectrum there. I was going to put you on the spot and I was like, oh, I don't know if I should ask him if you order his stuff yet, but yeah. <laughs> it sounds like, it sounds like you're good to go. That's sweet. Oh uh, yeah, definitely. Also check out our other social pages. Uh, we got a Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, the official Google site, as well as the merch store, which I already mentioned. Uh, anybody interested, um, you know, eighth grade through senior in joining the Los Alamos high school esports team or club here. Uh, make sure you reach out to Coach Tony or one of us, and uh, we'll add you to the Discord and get you started. So, again, fall season is just going to be featuring mostly Rocket League, I believe. We have our first uh, scrimmage set up for next Thursday, so that's really exciting to get get that season off and running. And then we'll have our full complement of games ready to go starting in spring. Uh, but, you know, we'll be going to be practicing and doing some scrimmages over the next few months before string, spring season starts. All right, I don't know if you've heard from Coach Tony, if they're ready to go. Yeah, I'm trying to get into the spectating mode. I just got the password in chat there, so that way I can try and hop into their lobby. Perfect. Yeah, I'll switch over to the screen right now, and also try to hop in here. One second. Not sure if there's an error for any characters that are special and is Needing to be uppercase, lowercase. Oh. All right. Let me know what you figure out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and it's at least good to tag along and get into the discord channel meet some new people try and figure out what each other's likes dislikes are then you can figure out how to have some fun get some memes going in the chat yeah we got the meme channel it's always active <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and uh yeah we got a bunch of other uh other games going on that have channels as well uh, let me see if I can roll through those. So we do have Overwatch, uh, Madden, FIFA, if anybody's interested in either of those games. Uh, we're hoping to put together a Smash Brothers group as well. Uh, so we have a spring season for that. Uh, there's a casual Fortnite channel, so any of the Fortnite players, uh, welcome to join the, the channel. We have a Valorant group. One of our players has posted a couple nice montages of, of his Valorant play. 
um, in that Valorant group. So some some good players there. We have Apex, Splatoon, Brawlhalla, and Escape from Tarkov. So a huge complement of interests here. Join us. Especially if you had a stressful day and need to decompress, just find some game that you'd like to play along with someone else and hang out. It's always a go-to. All right. It looks like I'm still on the uh, friends list here. I don't know if you've been able to get into the match yet. Nah, it okay. says I'm getting queued up for yep. it. Perfect. But, uh, Me as well. Or if the has started yet. Yeah, I don't know if this like League of Legends has a little delay on their uh, their spectate mode, so you can't give away any info. Closed out, reopened. It was that they're in a match lobby. I think right now they're selecting characters. Okay, perfect. And put the password, see if it's going to let me in. Thankfully, I don't have that rainbow wheel just sitting there staring at me, <laughs> loading <laughs> ominously. And you haven't <laughs> crashed yet. <laughs> no, not yet. <laughs> One of the downfalls is if you crash on this, it's hard to get back in. Have to hit the rewind button pretty much and uh, watch it all over. Exactly. I'll have to request for it to be remade. Not able to get in, unfortunately. Looks like we have okay. someone, we got Zane just topped back in. Not sure if they're going to need reformat here. Oh. So you might get to play after all. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> we'll try not to focus too much on your Yeah. Play. That makes you self conscious. Yeah, I still need to work on all that. <laughs> Both on Smite and League. pretty neat fact on uh, Smite, it just kind of goes through the Norse, Greek, Egyptian god lines and just kind of talks about their history and implements them into the game so that way you can actually uh, kind of learn some new things that you might not have gotten in your history class or just always been interested in. You can learn more and get to actually play that character and see what they have going. Yeah, it's a really... Uh big selection of characters i'm as i said i'm new you can see at the top of the screen i'm just level two so <laughs> i just played a couple tutorials basically so far uh, but yeah there's a you know overwhelming number of, of different gods you can play there so right it looks like i just got pulled into the match perfect i don't know if you're yeah. able to make it seems like they have both chosen the same god uh, Muzin Cab. I don't know if that was on purpose or not. Or if that will change, but. A little mirror matchup never hurt anybody, I suppose.
still showing the loading screen. They're not fighting, correct? They are not fighting yet. Uh, still right. waiting for the characters to load in here. Okay. There's the loading now. So I know Tony, Coach Tony, he's around uh, level 37 on his accounts. So he's oh. had some play time. Okay. I'm not sure what, uh, what Mr. Bean might be running there. <laughs> of uh, Tony on the blue team here. Mr. Bean playing red. Yeah, it seems like a tall order to have to go through all these towers just with a single person, so we'll see how this 1v1 turns out. It is a mere matchup, so both players are playing the same character. Comes down to what they're going to be picking for items and how they can hit their skill shots. Are you familiar with this character at all? I am not. This is one I think is a new character. Oh, okay. He's got like a... A beehive ability is what it seems like. <laughs> yeah, it looks like it may be uh, something to help charge up an attack. Maybe drop it as a bomb to attack it and maybe an AoE effect. Tony taking a lot of damage early on here. It's not looking good. I don't know if he's he focusing on the minions too much or what. But. Yeah, and he does have a couple health pots, so he's able to try and kite as much as possible and buy himself some time. He's got to time it to where he can get that last kill on these minions so he can get that XP gold okay. advantage and bring it back. Wondering about that if you have to get the last hit to get the uh, to get the gold. That's going to be a poke fest here. Yeah. Let's see who they can get into range and trick. <laughs> we'll see what happens when they get their... Uh... Ultimate abilities going here. Oh, what that yeah. actually looks like. I don't know if that's gonna. Especially with the input of damage on the tower, we're just coming from one character. Exactly. Yeah, I don't know if the tower health like scales if it knows that it's a 1v1 or not. Yeah. Oh. It's like a slowing honey ability Whoa. there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and that looks like the Giant old. Giant stinger. I don't. Ah, uh, interesting. And it has a really fast cooldown, so it's already, you know, 10 seconds away. Wow. Fast-paced character. It's like Tony's doing a recall. Yeah. Go buy something, I suppose. Really try it. Yep. There goes his gold. Get an item advantage. Try and go back and push. All right. Let's see how much... Uh... Caleb here can push the other tower. Looks like he's doing a little bit of damage. Down to half health currently. Oh, that's pretty good. Let's uh, farm the extra minions that are coming in, see if he can crash the wave, and he can make the decision to recall and go back and get an item. He's putting heavy pressure on Tony here. Seems like it would be a good opportunity for him to call just a few seconds ago, but gonna keep the pressure on. Tony's oh, just going for great economy and trying to get that level up and equalize. Got about a 400 gold disparity here. Oh, good catch. Yep. Mr. Beam might try and punish him for having that gold disparity but it's time item advantage might Fly, go to Tony. Friends. Right. I just want to see them use that large stinger again. Yeah. <laughs> Personally. <laughs> it's probably like a finishing move so maybe not, not wise to waste it just when both guys are full health here. <laughs> Tony 
one thing I definitely notice is uh, Mr. Bean definitely has uh, good manageability on his uh, mana. Oh, Staying yeah, around half on his mana bar and been using know, some yeah. pots. Yep, Coach Tony definitely at the disadvantage here so far. I don't know if he has grander plans in mind or what, but... Okay, hopefully we're getting close to a little stinger strike here. About 20% well on him, but he's got to pull back. Until the minions crash. Yeah. Go. So as long as you have your little minion teammates, uh... Along with you, as you go into the circle, the tower will focus the minions. Unless you attack the other enemy champion, then the tower will yeah. focus you. Prioritization on it. Okay, Tony's gonna recall. He's Mr. Bean still staying in lane. Oh, now uh, he there is. he does go back. He's collected enough gold to buy himself some nice treats, I believe. Alex just went back, bought three different items, has uh, one maxed item, so it's like one single item advantage going to Team Red for Mr. Bean here. Tony's going for mana camp, which is pretty smart, trying to see if he can go and push out some good damage, utilize his cooldowns and make a comeback here on this push. Great range and poke ability. Tony doing some pretty good dodging, but he's not really providing any damage output towards Caleb. Alright, we'll see if Caleb can finish off this tower here. The first step towards victory. And he is Comes going for a kill. Possibly. There it is. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> There's the stinger that we were all dreaming of. That's a great kill. And smart to recall here after getting a little extra gold from that kill. See how Tony responds here, if he can make a little push of his own. You jungle camps here. So can you tell me a little bit more about the jungle camps in this game? Yeah, these uh, jungle camps, you can go for XP boost, try and uh, equalize what you need for a level disadvantage. You can go for a mana camp, damage camp, and then uh, demon, I believe, is uh, be both mana and damage. Okay. Trickle, trickles in over time. And is it fairly easy to get these camps, like, any time during the game, or you have to be pretty high level, or do they scale? Uh, you can get it any time. It does scale with their levels, so okay. sometimes it'll take some time in the beginning if you want to try and push for it and try and get that buff but uh you can see here uh looks like tony has a speed boost on his character and then uh, mr bean has a damage buff on him that's why you can see him glowing with a red orb oh okay got it so they have to actually uh once they kill that camp they have to go and pick up that orb physically and close so it could be stolen oh really okay yeah it's a Jungly and a little more pressure packed, I suppose. Yeah. Tony recalling one more time. Got something in mind for the shopping bag, I guess. Get a damage spike. And Caleb also returns back. It's 
So we'll see who can really make the next push here. I'm not quite sure. Tony going for, looks like a mana camp here. Yep. That sustained output. Caleb doing his own camp, though I can't see what camp it is. Oh, it is the damage output. And he's actually going for another camp. Oh no, just baiting Tony in here. Fly, friends! I'll be back. Another kill. Wow. Caleb, very well done. See if he can take advantage of this. Push through the uh, Phoenix Tower here. Wow. I guess that damage output is pretty fast right now. Interesting is I would think they would have the same. Uh type of defense system to where they have magic <laughs> resistance, you know, they're basically the same characters exactly. but, uh, who can scale a little bit more. <laughs> or who can just land shots. Yeah, yeah very true. Alright, Caleb is able to push through the Phoenix Tower. Now it just has to face the Titan. And that totally thing will actually fight back pretty pretty good and chase you down, so okay. That's good to wait until a minion wave comes through. Uh, the health and damage output scales for a 1v1 here. Otherwise, it yeah. <laughs> seems like it's <laughs> pretty brutal to have to fight the Titan by yourself. And it looks like my game might be crashing right now. I am having the same frozen screen, unfortunately. Tell you what, uh, it's like uh, Mr. Bean's definitely looking pretty uh, glorious. He's got a fist pump going on on the character <laughs> <laughs> yeah I wonder if uh, Tony surrendered <laughs> if there's anything new in the uh, the chat here I'm gonna check that was okay <laughs> Yeah, that was me typing in, trying to see if that was a surrender or what. Definitely didn't go to a finishing screen saying uh, who won on that. No, but that looks like they might have the a advantage. might have a pause going on the game right now. Actually. Oh, okay. <laughs> Forgot one of the things you can do is actually pause the game. Always got to keep in mind, Coach Tony always has to help take care of a son, and he's got his uh, dogs also. They like to mouth off uh -oh. to Labradors. Coach Tony laying down the law over here. Yep. <laughs> Good thing we don't have him in chat. You'll hear him. <laughs> <laughs> All right, game's going to unpause here. Okay, awesome. <laughs> All right, we're back. It's been so long since I played this game. I thought that was a feature. <laughs> <laughs> At least it's a agreed upon pause instead of just pausing the game to mess right. with someone. Right. <laughs> That'd be tilting. <laughs> Like just from the stats coming off of uh, Mr. Bean, Caleb there, he's about like 1,500 DPS more than what Tony's running right now, oh, so it's not both definitely well. get a good amount of poke going through and good accuracy. Looks like these camps are going down pretty fast now, so that's good. 
But can you only carry one buff at a time? It didn't look like Tony picked up that mana buff. Uh, you can pick up, I think, two buffs at the same time. Okay. Wouldn't that be quite the opponent if he can be stacked with four different buffs and go running at some? Yeah. That's... I'll just turn around and wait until it for a timer oh, to go okay. off there. <laughs> <laughs> Caleb just now got the damage buff here. All right, he's been he's pretty been successful spike. with that one so far. He damage spikes before this Phoenix comes oh, back yeah, and respawns. Like, he might have a good push gun towards Titan. Just a few shots to take down Tony. A little too much focus on the minion. minions for Tony, I believe. Twelve seconds for Tony to come back, but I don't think it's gonna be enough time. <laughs> good, good game right there. Yeah, it's pretty easy peasy for Mr. Bean there. I don't know if he yeah. had experience with the the B guy. <laughs> Sorry, I forget yeah. his name. <laughs> <laughs> Caleb. I don't no, know about no. the character. The, the name. character. The character's yeah. name. <laughs> ah, Muzin Cab. Ah. Amuzin Cab, you know. Don't know where he hails the from. Classic Amuzin Cab. Uh, what is he? Uh, Mayan. Oh, interesting. Okay. I have to brush up on my history. <laughs> the god of bees. Well, okay. I guess it's nah. thematic. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, looks like. Uh, I might be getting summoned. Coach Goodbody is getting called out for a 2v2. <laughs> Man, can we do like coaches versus the others? I, I need someone to carry me. Where was oh, good I, carry I don't me? Know if, I, don't, I don't know if Tony's <laughs> going to be able to carry you, but you can try, I suppose. Oh, it looks like you guys are on the same page here. So if you need to bounce out, that's fine. I'll take the cast from here. Well, try not to demolish me too I, much. I'm not. <laughs> I, I don't. <laughs> if anyone's going to get demolished, it's going to be the caster with the poor spectating I'm doing here. But <laughs> so don't don't it you worry about that. It is rough on the controls. I'm with you on that. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, Blake. I'm sorry. Right. Come back and see you. Good luck. We'll see you shortly. <laughs> All right, I'm going to hop over to intermission here and get you back into the next game as soon as it's fired up.
are back, folks, at the champion selection screen. Looks like folks are mixing it up. We're not going to definitely have a mirror match here. We do have a 2v2, which is great. We've got a couple more players in. We have, looks like, little coaches versus players here for game two. It will be on the Joust map. Um, looks like Groovy Tony is going for Ku Kulkan. Ku Kulkan. Um, I don't know if we get any information about the origin of Ku Kulkan. Looks like Coach Goodbody is going for Bellona. And Mr. Bean over here, Olo Run. And finally, one that I recognize. Uh, we have the one and only Zane representing Hercules. So, an interesting matchup. It'll be a little a little different than the mere matchup we saw last game. Uh, let's see how this goes. Folks, we are loading up right now. See who's on whose team here. So looks like the coaches are blue, players on red. Ready to go and see how these strategies work out. I know they're on uh, separate voice channels right now, so they should be able to strategize pretty pretty readily amongst themselves. And we'll see how this battle goes. Minions have spawned. Son to vanquish the evil. Bring the pain. But definitely the early advantage going to the players here. Zane actually be well able to put on a lot of damage to Coach Goodbody. Might be wise for Coach Goodbody to recall at this point just to get healed up. Not going to be too effective without that. see there's a huge XP advantage for the red team allowing them to level up their abilities much more quickly than the coach's team at this point so as expected looks like Zane is uh Going to be close combat melee character here as Hercules, with the support of Mr. Bean as a ranged character. 
Because he's does take quite a bit of damage there. Throws his ult. This is a 90 second cooldown. So I don't know how effective that giant boulder will be the next time around here. Player's team has already done a good job of poking down the tower a little bit. At least is recalling to do a little bit of a uh, heal and probably buy, buy an item or two. Back into the action here. Two on one battle right now. To the death! Beware the heaven! Mr. Bean is able to kill off Coach Goodbody. The Coach Tony is able to get that last kill, but he did have to sacrifice his ult for that. With uh, about an 80 second cooldown, he's going to go back right now and take a buy. See how much Zane can push this tower here, see if he can get a little bit more damage on their tower while they're back. Uh, the coach's team is back. Got a pepperoni pizza level up indicator. <laughs> players are doing a good job pushing this wave. Hopefully they'll be able to poke the tower just a little bit longer. Great range attack there by Mr. Bean. Another great hit by Mr. Bean. Really poking down uh, Coach Tony. That's an ult in by Coach Goodbody. See if they can finish the job here. Mr. Bean doing a good job of avoiding most of the damage there. Coach Goodbody in the middle of the fight here. Really not taking too much damage. Mr. Bean able to avoid that tornado pretty easily. Uh, now he's in a lot of danger. We do see Coach Tony throw out that ult, but it does miss with that. Much good body going for a finish here. See how greedy he is if he goes in the tower or not to try to get this kill. Actually, Coach Goodbody in trouble here, maybe one or two hits away. He is going to escape. So that was a really nice engage by the coach's team. Saw Coach Goodbody throw in his ult, get the stun in on Mr. Mean. They weren't actually able to quite get him down immediately. Uh, you did see that Zane was able to get a kill on uh, 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 Coach Tony before the, the coach's team was able to get that other kill back. So pretty even trade, actually. teams fighting over this uh, damage buff here and actually I'm not sure who is it is Zane that's able to sneak away with that red damage buff so really well done by the players team Has to be a little bit careful here. I know he is the ranged attack. Oh, really nice ult there. Double ult. Coach Goodbody able to counter that though. It's a one on one fight. Wow. Double kill. Wow. Coach Tony able to clutch that one. That last kill when uh, the Mr. Bean that dove there on that tower. Not sure how much they're going to be able to get out of this push since Coach Tony is so low right now. But probably not too much, to be honest. But they are going to get... The coach's team is going to get their first little bit amount of damage on this tower. But maybe just a slight advantage at the end of that battle. For the coach's team. As you see, the coach's team does have two more kills right now than the player's team. Though the coach's team tower is, you know, first tower at least, is way more damaged at this point. 
lock into Mr. Bean here and see if we can't get a nice shot of that boulder toss when he decides to bring it out. And still on a 15 second cooldown. Uh, I'm not quite sure where Mr. Bean is. Oh, he came from behind. It's a team fight here. Tornado doing a lot of damage for the coach's team. Mr. Bean's going to have to be real Bring careful here. Let's see if Zane can protect him well enough. Certainly they're respecting Zane quite a bit here. We do see a coach good body engage. Though not particularly effective. There's that boulder throw. Ooh, great damage. Coach Tony is one shot, but I don't think it's going to be worth diving in to try to get that oh. kill. Zane is going to try. Does not quite get that hit. Tony is able to teleport away right at the last second. See if Coach Goodbody can hold down the fort here. Coach Tony is back. Puts down the tornado. Been pretty effective so far. Not quite as effective as Coach Goodbody's ults though to start the engages. Those have been pretty clutch. Coach Tony, a little aggro here. And the tower does fall. Coach's team's gonna have to be in a little bit of retreat mode to get back to that Phoenix Tower. So really well done by the player's team to get that first tower down. They, they earned it. All right, looks like we still have uh, 15 seconds left on the uh, Hercules ult here. is a little low, just trying to do a little bit more farming uh, to get some gold and XP before he goes back, I'm assuming. Things have kind of settled down here for the short term. Fuck in here on Coach Tony, see what he's up to. Does have all abilities available at this point. They are thinking about going for that damage camp, but it's already gone. And it looks like, yep, Mr. Bean has that damage buff again, so player's team doing a really great job of controlling that damage buff. Though they don't necessarily have the kill count, only two to four, um, they've been a lot more effective in, in taking down these towers and controlling the map. Looks like Coach's team's giving a lot of respect right now to that Hercules ult. Let's see if it comes out in this team battle here. Really nice range shot by Mr. Bean. Yeah, Mr. Bean chasing Coach Tony pretty hard here. Not able to land all those fireballs. It does look like Hercules did teleport back, I believe. Is he killed? He was killed off, actually. So Coach is actually doing a really good job of controlling Hercules. Not quite sure why Zane didn't necessarily teleport back. He was at health, half health before he engaged um, in that last fight and cost them dearly. I guess the only good news is that uh, Mr. Bean does maintain that red buff, so he's still going to be pretty threatening here. Phoenix Tower is starting to get just a little bit of light damage from the minion waves for the player's team here. Hercules is back and ready to go, just getting another level up. It's perfect. Do see that tornado miss from Coach Tony, so it does open the door. Uh, looks like Coach Goodbody is coming around the behind. He's out of position, I would say. That's not a good engage, two on one there. And the Hercules boulder does come out, but it completely misses, unfortunately. Can they finish good good body? No, they cannot. Coach Tony now goes in full health, tries a 2v1. Both teams pretty much even right now in terms of HP. Player's team is continuing this push, hoping to get at least a little bit more damage on that Phoenix Tower. Coach Goodbody has teleported back, so he's now at full health. And it looks like Red Team's gonna yeah. do the same thing. Right. So a pretty even trade. I was a little surprised that player's team didn't quite capitalize on catching uh, co catching Coach Goodbuddy kind of out of position. I, I mean, it was planned by the coach's team, I think, to go around and make that flank, but um, pretty dangerous maneuver, I think. 
All right, and we do see Mr. Bingo back, so we'll see if, uh, oh, they are gonna contest this red buff. Two on one, Mr. Bean comes back, starts melting, and he does kill Coach, good body. Hercules trying to finish the job here against Coach Tony. Coach Tony evading as much as he can. <laughs> it's just kind of, there we go. <laughs> There's that Hercules boulder. And Coach Tony is going to come back. Not quite in time. Beautiful. Beautiful launch by Zayn there to get Coach Tony before he could teleport away. Really well played. Let's see if they can make this push worth it. Get a little bit more damage here on the uh, Phoenix Tower. And we do see Mr. Bean coming back for support here. Zane a little bit low in health right now. Not quite sure if it's wise to stay. This is the, the mistake they made last time with having Zane stay a little bit too long, a little bit beyond his welcome. And they are pushing this Phoenix Tower a little bit. Really nice wave there. Should take advantage of. But we do see Coach Tony is back here. Full health. Uh, looks like Mr. Bean trying to steal away a camp here. Gets caught out. And we do have an engagement. Again, this is going to be really tough for blue team, I thought, because of Hercules' low health. But that's not the case. They're able to melt down Coach Tony really quickly there. Really well done. Um, so they're gonna get free reign of these these camps here in the jungle. Not sure if they're looking for a push on this tower. Looks like uh, all the minions are stuck in the middle here, unfortunately. So they're not gonna be able to take down any more health on that Phoenix Tower for the time being. Let the light be the judge. So Mr. Bean really poking down those minions in, in one shot with that fireball. Really well done. Trying to keep the pressure on Coach Tony and Coach Goodbody here. They have evened up the kill count here, five to five. It's like Mr. Bean's just giving Hercules a little bit of time, so they both do have now mana buffs and are going to be in really good shape and just casting all their abilities in the next team fight. I'm a little nervous for Coach Goodbody here, trying to engage again. Coach Tony getting that tornado down, actually doing really a lot of damage to both players there with that area of effect. Really nice play by, by Coach Tony. Coach's team on the offensive here now, finally going to get a little bit of push here. Mr. Bean is going back, so I'm not sure if they're going to be able to control this uh, minion wave very easily. Coaches do need to take advantage of this moment right now. Looks like they're going to go for red buff here. Hercules with the really nice boulder throw. He's going to contest it. And I can't tell who got it. Okay, Coach Tony does end up with the red buff. And subsequently a double kill by the coach's team. Now's their chance. Coming back here. They're going to push this first tower. Assuming they're going to be able to kill off this first tower immediately. Um, looks like Coach Goodbody actually went back, so it's just relying on Coach Tony with his red buff to finish this tower. And yeah, the next minion wave does come, so he is going to be able to get this tower pretty easily. I'm not sure if he's going to push beyond. Yeah, he is. Go for this Phoenix Tower. I don't think it's probably attainable to get this before the other players respawn. Still on a five second cooldown. Coach Tony with this red buff actually doing quite a bit of damage here. And Coach Goodbody is back. So they are going to get the Phoenix Tower. I'm completely wrong. Um, and we'll see if they just retreat at this point or if they're going to try to fight. Um, I don't know what the right play is here necessarily. We're locked in on Coach Goodbody here. He's going to ult. Try to do as much damage to Hercules as possible. Hercules is retreating. Gets that boulder throw towards Coach Tony, not quite effective. I think Coach Tony is just doing too much damage with that red buff at this point. Coach Goodbody does get killed. And Coach Tony is now on the defensive. Let's see if he can poke away as this chase is going on, but... Bring the pain. 
you could see how well, you know, how effective that red buff was for Coach Tony on that last team fight when they were both contesting the uh, contesting the red buff camp. Coach Tony's still retreating here. See if he can maintain that red buff for as long as possible. He's got to have some good gold in the bank, it seems like. Let's see. Yeah, he's got 2,500 gold in the bank right now. Um, so he's going to be able to buy something nice. If he can get back. He's just trying to maintain the uh, minion wave for now to protect that Phoenix camp. Just being a little pesky. Looks like Coach Goodbody's going to swap in here. Finish what Tony started. Coach Goodbody going for a mana camp here. Let's see what the red team is up to. Just maintaining that minion push that got pushed all the way back to their Titan almost. Like, uh, player's team is trying to get eyes on both players here. I'm not sure if they... Oh, they do now know both the coaches are in the middle of the map. And it looks like Mr. Bean is able to get his own blue buff here. Uh, we do see Hercules possibly engaging here. Let's see if I can get you over there in time. He's just watching uh, the Demon King fight here, making sure no shenanigans are going on. And we do see an engage. They're going to try to focus down. Coach Tony pretty much one-shot him and get a really easy double kill. I think that was just a lack of vision there. Uh, Zane doing a great job of baiting Coach's team into that fight. Mr. Bean with a good follow-up, so that was excellent communication there to get that kill. That para kills. And they do get the Demon King buff, which is going to be critical here as they try to push this Phoenix Tower. And there is some ability on the Phoenix Tower right now. Let's see if they can't poke it down in time. It's like uh, there's still 10 seconds on the cooldowns for, or on the respawns for the coaches' team, so they are going to get this Phoenix Tower down. Don't quite know the situation of the minion push here for the Titan fight. Um, yeah, looks like all the minions are stuck at the middle here, unfortunately. So, yeah, looks like uh, player's team is going to just take that tower and go back. Uh, hopefully Hercules doesn't overstay his welcome. He's done that once so far during this game. He is getting slowed here. Coach Tony pushing hard. But Zane able to dash out of that tornado. Really well done. Uh, coach's team pushing for red buff right away. Hercules doesn't know there's a Coach Tony right behind him here. Just gonna avoid that. Keep running. <laughs> Looks like uh, Zane does have a healing buff here, I believe. Um, why he's able to recover so quickly. So this is gonna be a critical next fight here. Coach Goodbody does take that red buff. Hercules going in strong for this engage. Uh, Boulder missing, unfortunately. Mr. Bean able to melt Coach Tony very easily. Really well done by the players team here. This might be it. We'll see. They do have a nice, uh, hopefully, minion push coming behind these guys. They do have three of the large minions right now. They're going to try to melt this Titan down real quickly. Looks like they're going to be able to do it very easily. Bring the pain. Excellent. So really, really well played by the players team there. <laughs> Communication, I thought, was on point with those team engages, especially in the latter half. You know, they were down, uh, I think, five kills to two at one point. Uh, coaches had a five to two advantage over the players team, but overall, really well played by the players team to make a little comeback there on the on the team kill side of things, where they got a couple of double kills in the row right at the end to get that Phoenix Tower and that Titan very easily at the end. All right, folks, so that was our 2v2 smite showcase. Really well played by the players here. Close match uh, put up by the coaches as well, so GG's all around. Uh, we'll try to catch you guys next week with another Saturday showcase. Thanks for tuning in this week for smite. Um, again, if you can support uh, 
the Los Alamos High School esports team. Make sure to visit our merch page. Put that up here. Check out skulls.com. Buy some merch, support the team. And we'll catch you guys next week. Take care, everyone.